What's up, Bucks fans? Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Rondé Barber, and this is your film session for week, what was it, 11 already? Now, I know we have a lot to be thankful for this holiday season. Me? I'm pretty thankful that eight teams have four to six wins, and we're one of them, so we're still in it. So, let's get to a couple of plays in this 14 to 27 loss in Santa Clara. This is your film session, presented by Microsoft Surface. Minus the fumble by Baker Mayfield, the second drive of the game was a great drive. And then the third drive of the game was a fantastic drive. It was our first scoring drive, and that's my play for film session on offense. And look, this drive started on the 25-yard line, 75-yard, 11-play drive. There was a great catch by Trey Palmer on the sideline. Then there was that great seam ball that Baker threw to Kate Otten on second and 19, which set up this play, which was my favorite play of the day. The Bucks are gonna get into uh, trips, short trips formation at the top of the screen, right? Note number 83 right there, Devin Tompkins, and note tight end KDOT. Because in order for this play to be successful, we have to talk about the blocking patterns. All right, so the San Francisco 49ers are playing quarters here. So fourth safety, quarter safety, fourth safety. He's playing quarters, but he's playing at the line of scrimmage against Mike Evans man to man. So what does that do? That leaves only three guys in underneath defense and you have to get those guys blocked. We can eliminate this guy because he's just out of the equation. You have to block number 54, who may be the one of the best linebackers in football, and you have to block number 57, who's pretty close to number 54 as one of the best linebackers in football. So, what is this? Fake toss, short reverse, and first of all, this is a zone-like scheme, right? You get all these guys going this way, and then you have a split tight end coming back the other way. And now, at first, you look at this, and you're saying he's gonna pick up the free, ender, uh, the free defender at the end of the line of scrimmage. Kate Otten, nope, he's gonna ole that dude and go to the next level. So, I said the two guys that had to get blocked, he got Fred Warner cut off right there by Hainsey and watch big Tristan Wirfs get out here on number 57, and then Kate Otten on this, after this pitch has to pick up the only free hitter left, which is that safety, that quarter safety we talked about at the beginning of the play, and he does a great job. Also, tremendous job by Devin Tompkins setting up this block. You know, he could easily just get real excited and go, oh, I'm just gonna run to the sideline. But he waits, waits, cuts it side, and then Fred Warner misses, and the guy, if he would have like tripped or something, the guy we talked about at the beginning of the play, if he would have tripped, that would have been a touchdown. Either way, we get down to the one yard line and then there's a great run pass option on the next play, Mike Evans touchdown. I don't know why he didn't hand the ball off to Rashad White, it would have been a walk-in touchdown, but Mike Evans gets a touchdown. Here we go, let's watch this from the end zone. Again, watch Kate Otten. Watch where his eyes have to go. He's missing that guy and then going out here, you see Hainsey get up on him, 78 get up on him, and then Devin Tompkins, who is a little jitterbug and we love him with the football in his hands, goes to make something happen. We'll come back to him in just a second. All right, defensive side of the ball. I got one play. There were some bad things that happened on defense, but there were some good things. And one of those good things is the continued emergence of Yaya De Abi, number zero, is playing his tail off. Got two sacks in this game, he's had three in two games. And why I love this play is because of how perfectly the defense is executed. All right, so they're playing three deep, four under. If you, know, if you stop it right here, you're saying, are you kidding me? There's four guys back here, this is not three deep, four under. But in reality, it's middle safety, thirds player, thirds player, and you need four underneath defenders. Let's take this back real quick. Who are these four underneath defenders? You would think it would be these three guys, right? These three these three guys being one of them. But it's really Anthony Nelson is gonna be a flat defender. 29, Chris Genizian is a flat defender. He's a hook defender over here. This is a replace blitz over here by Devin White. And then the disguise comes in when you watch Antoine Winfield Jr. come down into that window. Now, why is that important on this particular play? Because we know that Brock Purdy is a very timing-oriented quarterback. That's what he does best and only does really well. Watch him have to hold this football. He's trying to get this little hook into Brandon Ayuk, but because uh, Antoine Winfield drops into that, into that area, he's like, I can't throw it there. That's gonna be an interception. I'm gonna have to go back over here to 15. That's his progression, 11 to 15. But by the time he does that, watch number 
zero right here. This is man stuff right here. Get in your chest, son, and you are not good. And bam! Watch 14, or watch 13. Progression, I'm trying to get from this guy to that guy. By the time I get ready to throw that, he's sacked. Great play. Yad Yad Diaby is coming on. All right, very rare that I do a special teams play in film session, but today I'm going to do one and pick one from all three phases. Of course, you know which play that is. It's the 51 yard punt return that was set up, that gave us a chance actually, right? Because of that sack by Yaya Diaby, we're down two scores, it's 13 points, and we need a big play. In order to have a successful return, played special teams all 16 of my years, you need to take care of the free releasers. There's five free releasers on punt. The gunner, the gunner, the personal protector, the long snapper, and the punter. Those are the only guys that usually don't get blocked, right? Some get picked up most of the time. All right, let's check out the gunners. Up top first. This guy is moonwalking backwards. He's going away from the play. He's, he's eliminated. Watch Josh down here at the bottom. Does a really good job taking care of the one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, gunner down at the bottom. Then, all you have to do is watch Christian Isian take care of the personal protector, and that leaves a couple of non-athletes to make tackles on number 83. Who I said we we're gonna bring back up, here he is. I'll leave that guy standing right where he is, going the opposite direction. Sorry, long snapper. The other non-athlete is, of course, the punter, and this has no chance. I thought this was very well executed, fun to watch, put us in a position to win. Unfortunately, we had a turnover at the end of the game, so be it. It was still a couple of good plays in this game. Now, who we got next week? Indy. I'll be here, hopefully diagnosing a win. But either way, we'll be watching Film Session. Brought to you by Microsoft Surface. Cheers, guys. Thank you.